Welcome to another guide too with me, Mr. Sealy P. So today we have a triple mod video. I don't I normally do individual guide to videos, but every now and again I'll stick one in that's a multiple mod video. This one is a triple mod video. The first one we start off with is impressive and well received. Well, it should be well received. It's the BioBelts SB300 Snow Blower. Since Seasons Mod came out on console, um, I've had quite a few um, subscribers asking, are there going to be new plows? Um, are, is there going to be equipment brought out that can deal with the snow? The answer to that is yes. And it's awesome. I really do like this one. The BioBelts equipment is normally done by Toxic Om, and this is no exception. Um, it's brilliant. Um, the first one of these mod reviews, guide twos, whichever we're going to call it, will start off in the snow, then the other two will go to normal weather conditions for what we need to do. So let's have a quick look. Actually, let's have a quick look in store first. So under, I think it's miscellaneous, if I remember correctly. Yes, miscellaneous, the SB300. 6,999 for a snowblower on the front. Brilliant. 125 horsepower required. Um, because I've already bought one, it's now saying slot count is one needed. I can't remember what it was when I bought it originally, or at least it didn't buy it, at least one. Um, but that's not the end of the world. It's not too much of a problem. It's not going to be a huge slot count, to be fair. Um, and that's it. That's all there is to it. You can choose your colour. I've obviously gone with Mr. Silly P Green, is as I often do. And then you've got standard or with work light. Um, the work light is incredibly handy. I found in the snow as well. Wow, it's very, very bright. We'll have a look at that in a moment. It has a three metre width. And if you want to lease it, you're looking at 615 um, initial costs. And then uh, per operating hour, 279. So, I mean, realistically, for the price you're paying, 6,900, you might as well buy one. It's, you know, of course, if you're going to be doing a lot of work in the snow, you may not be. So, let's have a look around the mod. Um, you've got your um, auger, it's not an auger pipe, but the auger blade, I'm never quite sure. Um, obviously, screws turning differently each way to send everything to the centre. And then it will go out through there, up and away. We'll have a look at that in a minute. PTO shaft on the front. It's quite plain. It's not a, you know, there's not tons and tons of detail on this. A few decals, little bits and bits here and there. There's nothing much more to it. Um, we've got LED lights on the front there. Very, very nice touch. Um, but what's more important about this is what it does. So, um, yeah, that I've, mind you, that said, I have to say, Looking at the, the front kind of um, vinyl kind of flap that hangs down the front, it looks plasticky, it looks vinyl. It really does look good, actually. There is a contrast in the textures here and the, and the flap on the front. It's a minor thing, but, it, you know, it really does look good. So, let's jump in. Let's turn on the tractor. Now, I'm going to open up the information help window, left-hand corner. Um, so if I now do L1 on the PlayStation controller, you can fold the snowblower. Now, down here, right at the front here, behind that auger, um, there is a slot. If I fold the snowblower, it closes it. I'll zoom in on that for opening it. L1, unfold snowblower. It opens up that little circular hole uh, ready for the snow to go through it. We can then... Let's come out a bit pipe out L1 and down on the D-pad it automatically puts it to the le uh, to the right if you're looking forwards but again if you press L1 you can then using the right joystick mushroom you can actually move it then round to the other side if you want to whichever direction you want to blow the snow to you can actually adjust it which is also very handy um, L1 and the right mushroom if I go up and down the nozzle at the end of the pipe goes up and down 
It also has an LED light on the top of that. Let's try and put the lights on. There we go. They are very, very bright. So if you're going to be working at night, blowing snow, as you can see, very effective work light. So let's turn those off. Um, so that's the pipe out, and you can turn it around any way you want to. L1 again, and I turn on the snowblower. And then L1 circle, and lower the snowblower. Now if I move forward now, nothing's happening. That's a worry. But if I do L1, and then uh, L1 and R1, yes, L1 and R1 together, triangle says unload here. As soon as you press unload here, we get snow blowing and it is working and it is blowing the snow out to the side and put it in a pile down the side you want it I can move that pipe around if I want to put it around the other side now what often or often what I have found in testing it because I've moved the pipe round you need to go back on and do unload here again so as soon as I do that it starts to work in I say it starts to work in it did and then stopped again unload here there we go and it starts blowing up the other side I can move the nozzle up and down uh, where are we let's move the nozzle up right to its extent see how far it blows the snow now unload here again that's the only thing that it seems to be a bit of a faff but anyway so you can blow the snow much further away if you want to just by adjusting the nozzle at the top of the pipe and what I have also found is the faster you go the less effective the snow blower is what you can do if you really wanted to, let's done it again, yes, unload here. I don't know why it keeps doing that, that might be a little bit temperamental. Didn't have a problem earlier, but it seems to be doing it now. Yep, unload here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure why it keeps kind of turning off. Again, so like I say, the slower you go, the more effective it is because it needs a chance to be able to process that snow in through the blower and then out the end. But it's very effective. The faster you go, the less effective you can probably, or I say you can probably, I have set it when I was testing it out. Um, and put cruise control on yeah as soon as I back up as soon as you back up that um, auto unload or the unload here thing stops working so as long as I keep going forward I'm fine um, yeah I set cruise control on to two miles an hour and just crawled forward and it would work perfectly no problem whatsoever but there you go that's it come on that's going to become a bit annoying if it keeps doing that, but there's a lot of snow. But it is blowing snow. It is working. Take your time and it gets rid of it. Very, very effective. I like it. Um, beats shoveling it, doesn't it? And snow ploughing it and pushing it out of the way. What a brilliant bit of kit for 7,000. Let's say the textures aren't phenomenal. They don't need to be. It does exactly what it needs to do. It's working going backwards. That's peculiar. Anyway, um, and there you go. That's the snowblower. That's the first of the mods. It works really well. I like that. I like the snow bank that's piling up at the side as well. Um, just that nozzle down a bit. So just that right down there next to us. Put that back on unload here. It's going to put that piled in a lot closer. What a cool bit of kit. But there you go. That's our first mod. I'm going to go a little bit further forward, a bit faster. But I say, the faster you go, the less effective. But that's it. First mod, done and dusted. The BioBelts SB300 Snowblower from Toxicom. Very, very nice indeed. That's exactly what it says in the tin. Might be a little bit temperamental. I'm not sure whether there might be an update or something for that. So let's move on to the second one. Bear with me just a moment and we'll get right to it. Mm. 
the second of the mods I'm going to look at in this triple mod review is this little beauty right here. This is the Art Mechanic P2 PT25 um, rear weight for telehandlers. Um, I've had a couple of issues on the Valley of the Old Farm on the Let's Play I'm doing at the moment with the Merlot. It seems to tip very easily, a lot easier than I have found with other telehandlers. Um, this is by Vanquish081 um, and it's a well received mod from my perspective. I quite like this. Um, I have been sent messages by people saying if it's tipping up you can put various weights on the back. This is one that has been designed specifically for telehandlers and it works incredibly well. We'll have a quick look in the store. It's under weights. The PT25, it's only 1950 to buy. It doesn't say on here how much it actually weighs, but that's not too much of an issue. If we come back out again, and we'll jump in cab. Let's have a quick look. So, on, as far as lights go, it has got two small rear lights on there, but it does also have LED reverse lights. And that rear trailer hitch does work. It's not just there for show. Now, unfortunately, the logs I've got in the front are a bit jittery because they're two larger ones. But what I have found is that lifting them into trailers and things, as I've been doing it, that the back of the Merlot has had a tendency to lift off the ground. That said, with this weight on now, it's not happening at all. If I push this right forward as well and go up and down with it, it really is a lot more stable than it was before. I'm not really having many issues with it. Actually, I'm going to put those logs down because they're starting to get a little bit jittery in the front of there. So, very, very handy rear weight. Um, oh, well, that was what I meant to do when I looked in store. Hang on just a second. When you click on it, you've got two options. You've got adapter Liebherr and adapter Manitou. I tried it on a Manitou with the Manitou one and it worked fine. For the Merlot that I've got, I used the Liebherr one and it hooked up fine. I think it's just going to be a case of having to fiddle around and see which ones work with which ones. I don't know if they'll both types will work with all. I'm not entirely sure. I just took a bit of a punt on the one um, for the Merlot and went with the Liebherr and it worked fine. Um, so there are those two options available. I forgot to mention that. Um, it's another one of those things where people say, well, really, do we need to have a mod review on a rear weight? Not necessarily. It's a rear weight. It, it's just it goes in the back. It's a weight. Um, it looks quite nice. It does the job, especially with the Merlot. That has definitely stopped that rear end leaping up in the air, um, which is going to make my life a lot easier. I know that much. Um, I do like the lights in the back of it and the LED lighting rig there. Very, very nice. It's a small thing, but it's a nice thing. Well received. I like that. That's why I've stuck it into this quick guide too that I'm doing of the a few of the mods that came out today anyway. Um, so that's from Vanquish081. I hope you like that one. And we are going to move on. Turn that off. To mod number three. Mod number three is this psychotic beast. This thing is unbelievable. Um, this is from Black Sheep Modding. This is the Stump Grinder Raybold Zylor 1613. Bit of a mouthful, but it's all on here. Raybold Zylor 1613. And it's by Black Sheep Modding. Um, this is an incredible piece of kit. It looks really, really good. I like the weathering. And I love the fact that you've got the kind of scratch paint works come off and you can see the bare metal. It's really, really nice actually. Cool mod. You've got these kind of skid plates on the bottom there. So when it hits the ground, they're kind of, you can see they're worn away as well. Um, they bear the brunt of all that weight going down to the ground. So we'll have a look in store for this. This comes under forestry, if I remember correctly. Yes, it does. At the end, the Xylor 1613. 38,000. You think, well, 38,000 for a stump grinder, that's a bit pricey. This is not just a stump grinder. This has got a three meter width on it. Um, it does say at the bottom, this machinery cuts tree stumps. It then says, with a plow, you can prepare fields for the next sowing and create new fields. Interesting. So, first things first, let's get this thing fired up. Now you can raise and lower it and all the things you need to. Um, oh, the other thing I did forget to mention, I just should go back in and show you. 
Um, when you click on it, you've got two options for this as well. This will either go on a skid steer loader or a wheel loader, whichever you would rather, which makes it a little bit more versatile. So I'm gonna go and find a stump. Let's grind it and see this thing in action. Now I'm gonna open up the help menu in the top left hand corner. like so so what i'll do now if i go l1 it gives me some options it says enable the plow interesting we'll come to that in a minute turn on the stump grinder and then it says allow create fields i think you're beginning to get the picture of what this is going to do so if i just turn on stump grinder first by pressing l1 and square the stump grinder turns on very nice drop that down and come towards the stump and away we go you don't need to be particularly precise with this, which is, I, I like that. I like the fact with the other stump grinders, you've got one blade and you have to be quite precise. The other interesting thing with this, which is different from most other stump grinders, is this. Um, I'll just go to one that's easier to see. Um, this, is, this is what I mean about the craziness with this thing. Um, let's go to a tree, shall we? Um, there we go. Now, if you don't want to be paid for your trees and you literally just want to clear an area, you can literally just grind the entire tree away. So you're left with absolutely nothing. Like so. Job done. Tree gone. Stump gone. All in one fell swoop rather crazy but kind of impressive at the same time now let's get rid of this last stump and then i'll show you its next party trick so if i lift that up and it says l1 enable the plow if i press x you see now those lovely plow blades pop out the bottom come to the side a little bit so you can see them a little better they retract, they come forward. So now we have a plow. Now I don't know, if I can turn off the stump grinder, whether it will work without the stump grinder on, I'm not too sure, so we'll try it. So I can also allow create fields. If I press triangle and now drop it down, it is it's unbelievable. And drive forward, I am now creating fields. Um, it's I mean this is a multi-purpose bit of kit look at that I'm just I, just, I can't get my head around it that is craziness absolutely but if you're clearing the woodland this thing is a multi-purpose bit of kit not only can you cut trees down if you want to but once the trees are cut grind the stumps plough the ground job done move on that's amazing. I, I saw this on one of Black Sheep Modding's videos they put up on their site a while back when they showed a video of clearing um, clearing the ground. Oh, I've got a stump there. How did I miss that one? I'm oh, very remiss. Let's turn the stump grinder. Let's do a bit of both at the same time. Wow, so I can plough and grind stumps at the same time. So if you've finished doing what you're doing and you just want to plough the field out, you haven't even got to worry about doing the stumps first, then ploughing. You can plough and do the stumps at the same time. This is an animal. An absolute animal. All right, turn off the stump grinder. Let's disable the plough. And bear with me a minute because I'm going to take this through to the field I bought because this will just plough anyway and here we are at the field in question now I don't need the crops in this one I'm going to put something else in it at some point however I'm going to turn the uh, allow create fields off so it's just limited to fields now I'm going to enable the plough again drop it down and I can just use it as an everyday normal plough but this is ploughing at nine miles an hour 
I like this, this thing will chew its way through the countryside. This is amazing. What an addition to the game. Um, realistic or not, <laughs> it's, it really is brilliant. I like this. Black Sheep Modding, I've done it again, as they often do. I'm just going to spend hours driving around with this thing now, just cutting down trees, ploughing things, and just having a whale of a time. But there you go. Now, obviously, with the Laurel Crate fields turned off, it's not going to do any damage to anything else. And it's not a bad width, actually. Three metres isn't bad for a plough, especially when you're ploughing at that speed. Let's lift that up a little bit. Obviously, the lower you have it to the ground, the slower it seems to go. So finding that optimum height seems to be key. But there we go. Let me just turn the help bar off. And there we go. That is the third of the mods I was going to look at. By far the craziest and most awesome, but... Wow, there we go. That's it. That's the third one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this mini triple mod guide to review. Um, if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>